serving the same old snacks every weekend while you're watching the football game can get a little bit boring, right? I've got an idea for you that's really going to freshen things up, something unique and something that just sings with flavor. First of all, you need some nice, chewy, crusty bread. And I have, I made some focaccia, but you can get those take and bakes that are nice and crunchy on the outside and bake them just for a few minutes. Those work great too, but any baguette, Italian bread, ciabatta, focaccia, you don't have to make it yourself because they're all available in the stores these days. So warm it up a little bit, cut it up into serving size pieces, and then you're going to set up a make your own dipping oil bar. And I'll show you what to do. First of all, the star of the show is olive oil. So you need to have a really nice, flavorful, good quality olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil is the best. So be sure it's extra virgin. And then each brand tastes a little bit different. So find one that you like. And that's what we'll start with, the olive oil. And then you'll need things that can be mixed into the oil for dipping. So today I've got some dried Italian seasoning, some red pepper flakes, salt and pepper, that's pretty basic. But then I also have some really minced up sun-dried tomatoes and some minced roasted red peppers. I've got some grated Parmesan and a little minced garlic. So people can create their own dipping sauce. You might wanna add some chopped up olives, maybe some feta cheese, that'd be good too. So you can, I'm sure you'll think of some other things to add to your dipping bar, but I'll show you, have some little bowls for each person. You could even use little custard cups. You want something that's not too big, just large enough that you can dip a piece of bread into. And so I'm going to start with a little olive oil into my bowl. And I love salt with my olive oil. So I'll sprinkle in a little bit of salt and maybe just a little pinch of red pepper flakes and a little bit of dried Italian seasoning that I'll pinch as it goes into the oil. And I think I'll add some roasted red pepper and some Parmesan cheese. And then I'll just stir it up with my piece of bread. So give a little stir. All that's left to do is dip and eat. I'm Sue Doden, Cherry Good Food for Good Life 365.